Hello and welcome to Titus TV. Um, the aftermatch thoughts of the Mansfield Town game. I'm going to ask a few questions here and leave it open to comments. Let us know what your thoughts are. But uh, first things first, so the pitch looked pretty decent to be fair uh, after the Kansas and boxing match. And again, you know, people say, yeah, it's a new pitch, what's been laid, and it's over, but having an event like that, you know, just well, I mean, last week or what weekend, um, it looked good. Right, get into the game it's in. Starting 11, few question marks. I was like, Kilip starting. I expected new uh, keeper, Jackson Smith to start, if I'm being honest. He looked at resting it. A uh, couple of new signings have been brought in. Also, we've got the, the young lad, Gent, at left back. Uh, Craig in midfield. So, Huram were on bench. Roberts was starting. Walker, captain. Up front, we had Cosgrove and Max Waters. If I'm being honest, I thought it might start to be Aidan Marsh with pace, but it's one of them. Um, and again, I'm. I'm going to be looking at like now styles and questioning styles. And I'm going to call this out. Apparently, he wants in squad because his head's not in the right position and this other. Personally, I'd and this is my own opinion. It's all about opinions. I think he's like used us and the club for match fitness and sharpness all the way through pre season. And, you know, if. Daryl Clark's building a a team, a squad together for a, a league game to kick off the season. We've had a we've had a player that's played through pre season, having come back from Hungary, you know, um not in squad because it's there's not in right position, which happened last season. We all knew that. No matter how much you sugar coat it, it's quite obviously a bit styled up on a bit of a club. And I think the sooner he is off at books for whatever money we can get from him right now, if I'm being honest, all this £2 million release clause, whatever we can get from him, we'll be saving up wages as well. Um, and I'd rather invest in a, a player or players, depending on what fee he goes for, that's going to play for the club. So that's my say about styles. Let me know your thoughts about that. Um... Great following by Mansfield Town as well. Fair play to them. Uh, I know it's not far, but it's on a Friday night at 8 o'clock kickoff. And we missed some noise as well. Couldn't believe we, we, we won for 20, 25 minutes. Um, again, we were getting exploited down the gaps, down left, left wing back, left back position, whatever you want to call it, but formation we're playing with the you know, three at back or five at back with wing backs, whatever you want to call it. And it we're just getting predictable down there. Fair play. And I've got to give this 100% to Daryl Clark. He didn't mess about. He did not mess about one bit. 25 minutes, just maybe a fraction of two over, change formation. And I'm like, do you know what? Fair play, fair play mate. You've identified that you've changed it. Uh, went for it back, looked a bit more solider. And again, it was Russell came on. And to be fair, it, I didn't think it was too bad, to be honest. I was I looking at Craig, seeing where we we're going to go. Craig wanting ball. It reminded me a bit like Luke Connell esque, as in demanding ball and wanting ball with gestures and that. I will make him. Luke will gain a bit further for it. And sweet goal, he scored. I don't know, eventually trickled in, but. Get back, uh, get on about that in a minute. Phillips, was it me or did he just seem quiet in game? Phillips, he didn't see him at the races. I know it's first game of season, but I don't know. It, it might just be me, but it looked like Phillips was not in it as such. I don't mean, you know, how bad about that, but he just seemed to be off the pace. When you go up from Cosgrove won't gain out all game, you know, again, not good about all over. I will keep an eye on me in case of frustration when a boil over, like I think it were at MK Don's last season. 
when he was getting fouled and he lost his dragon and ended up getting sent off. Um, luckily, that didn't happen, but you could see him getting frustrated as game went on. And Max Waters. Run about, huffed and puffed, had some chances, as did Cosgrove, to be fair, in the second half, especially in the second half. Did this highlight issues further down the line? Again, we'll get on about this in a minute. Um, great half time, new signing, keeper from Chelsea. Is that going to highlight a few things? On, um, I, I, my own opinion, and I've seen some others, some of my mates said it as well. Is that I don't think Killer should have been better on the near post for a second goal. When you keep coming in from Chelsea, does it mean that Jackson Smith, Jackson Smith's going to go out on loan? Kill it be his number two, or kill it go out on loan? Jackson Smith be his number two? A lot of unknowns. I don't know. But to go in at 2 1 half time, at least close to something back. Second half, I think it kind of showed. My opinion, again, get on about yours. Leave your comments below. I think it highlighted out the problems of our striking options. We can't we can't be relying on people from midfield, i.e. Adam Phillips, what we know we can do, breaking from midfield. Luger Connell, you've got to be looking at your strikers and some of the chances we had, you know, being, you know, six eight yard out of the sky date again people say it's this game of the season a bit rusty and blah 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 but this is a new problem this is going back to last season I mean you're weird as weakness well putting ball and back in net and black stage of the season people people say yeah what scoring fours and sevens and threes and that fine but you look at like the players what we've lost up there Devante Cole, for all his faults, for all his weaknesses, he's still got 18 goals. We've still replaced that. McAtee, who's going to Bolton, passes new. Double figures. Again, still to replace that. you got like Andy Dallas out from the loan. All the shores gone. They were never going to be answered. But then when you're looking and you've got Cosgrove and Waters, you look on the bench, you look at Aidan Marsh, and people will be saying, oh, yeah, but we've got Jallo, and he could come off and make a difference. You can't expect him, a kid, as good a talent as he is, and don't get me wrong, I love him to bits, he can't be putting your all eggs in one basket and expecting Jallo to get his out of this. Great he's going to come on and make a difference. Of course it is. But you can't be relying on a, a young kid to be pin your hopes on. You need to build and at this moment in time i still think we need a striker if not two let me know your thoughts on that i mean i put a uh, ticker bar up there does it highlight that we need a striker or strikers at the club i think it does going back to last season alone into this again second half we had chances we need to points you know, we played far more better going forward at back and looked, you know, more solid at the back. Because midfield will gain over run basically. Midfield were just like dictating the play. Is that going to be something we're going to be working on? Um, to have a four at back? Or, you know, are we going to stick to the three at back? When you look at, and bear in mind the amount of centre backs we've got at the club. Again, options are out there. Cotter came on, you know, Marsh came on, made a few changes, Kyle and Lofthouse came on, but to no avail. Um, disappointing defeat at home. It's only the first game of the season. I get back, but at home, you, you want to be sat for a good footing. I don't get the balls, if I'm being honest. I don't get the balls. Um, I thought we played better. Like I said, when Daryl Clark did make the change and quickly, we had chances and we didn't capitalise on them. We were a lot better in the second half. So when full time whistle went, I, I didn't really get the balls, if I'm being honest. 
you know, it's not as if the lads won't train. It's just for be it won't clinical enough. That's my opinion. You know, that's my opinion. I mean, there'll be people out there saying, oh, yeah, I've got a right to go. And sort of I personally don't, even though, you know, even if it is a stinker of the game, I'd have probably just, you know, gone, got up and gone. Not applaud, the, you know, rather than applaud um, players and stuff like that. But as regards to Boeing's first game of the season, I mean, yeah, that's my thoughts on that. Let, again, let me know your thoughts on that. He you pays your money, fine, not a problem. But again, there's a, there's a fair few more games to come. And it can take you a couple of games to, you know, start hitting back at net, uh, turning these into wins until some quickly change around again. So again, just be a bit patient on that. I still like to think, I hope, there's a couple of players to come in. Mainly, like I said, the attacking, the attacking sense. Great to see Connor come on. Second half, got a, a good ovation as well. Great ovation. But yeah, a bit of a disappointing night. Great to see friends. Some friends are dancing for a bit. Actually, football, it brings you all together and the phone has been going off again. So yeah, be, you know, half-time announcement where, you know, new signing from Chelsea, goalkeeper, American. See what he can do. Uh, see what can bring to uh, balance to improve us. We'll probably go back and analyse this, but my take on it that you know the formation won't work him. I think we're a bit lackluster up front. Again, left back, left wing back area were vulnerable, hence the change. Could it have been a different game if we'd have nicked another one and made it 2 2? It could have been, but at the end of the day, it won't. Like I say, Cosgrove won't get in, uh, not at all from ref. Um, but again, that's nitpicking sour grapes. It's not all about referee. You've got to look at his own accountability and what we did or we did not achieve and do on pitch. So, yeah, two under feet for Barnsley at home. This game at season to keep the uh, 24 25 season off. But Maluka's wounds. We'll reassess, we'll regroup. Uh, and yeah, for me, I think Stella should be, you know, gone, uh, invest that money elsewhere um, and try and move on. Try and move on from this. It's not been a good start to the season. It's not been a good start to the weekend, but we do what we do. Just sends down, pick us up and go on to the next game. Well, let me know your thoughts um, about this as well. I will reply back to all comments. Or you can have a some football, but we can only have a, a bit of decent, you know, weekend with football what started back to uh, EFL. One thing left to say, you were